What, what um, I mean, is this like any other week for you out there in practice? Or, you know, do you feel like you need to hold on to something, you need to show, you know? No, I just prepare as always. Um, always, always be ready to go, prepare, practice, um, you know, like, like I always do, and, and be ready to go. When you went back and, and looked at that last game, what, what kind of stuck out to you? Uh, obviously, as you tend to f focus on the negative, which I was the two picks at the end, or you know, the last two kind of stand out to me, just poor decisions. But ultimately, uh, just felt like we couldn't really get in rhythm, get things going like we wanted to. Uh, need to go out and execute better all around the board and uh, play at a higher level. You view it as you're in like a full blown like quarterback competition this week. I'm uh, just gonna go out and prepare to be ready to go. I, you know, we're, we're support each other, be there for one another. Mike, so one of the things Joe said this week was that there's a difference between coming in late in the game and and starting an NFL game. You've you've done both. What what is the difference there? I think there's uh, challenges to both, honestly. I mean, uh, to come in the end of the game not having played isn't always the easiest thing because you know you haven't had the the, the work during the week. Uh, you're just kind of thrown in at the end, but there's also, you know, the defense is probably playing a little bit more vanilla, just kind of playing, you know, letting you do things. And then as you're a starter, you actually get to practice and get those reps. Um, but uh, you, you know, it's obviously more difficult when you're when you're playing in a situation where you know there's a lot more on the line. So uh, there's challenges to both, but yeah, just different experiences. Have you been told whether you know how, how it's going to shake out? Will, will you play? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. What was your uh, reaction when you heard that they were going to shut Daniel down though for the year? It's uh, unfortunate, obviously, to hear he's uh, wants to be out there for, for the team and uh, he's works really hard at it. And I know that's uh, you know not the way he envisioned things going. Uh, it, it was, you know, bummer to hear for me because you never want to see your teammate, your friend, uh, in that situation. But uh, I mean, we just have to to move forward, and uh, I'll be ready to go. Mike, what's been the biggest challenge? Just coming out of each game, trying to correct the mistakes, and trying to apply them each time. Just you know, each week to week, what would you say has been the biggest challenge for you? Um, you know, I think just going out and, and executing at a high level, play after play, being consistent. Um, you know, feel like there's been a play here or there in a, in a game you'd like to have back, which is, you know, normal in, in the NFL. You're not gonna, not everything's gonna go as planned, but just uh, eliminating kind of those the bigger mistakes like the uh, the other day, those plays that you want to you want to have back. Um, but the reality is you don't. But you just learn from them, put them in your memory bank, and uh, you know, try not to let it happen again. Hey, Mike. Most fans would look at this saying the Giants are now playing out the string. Is that at all possible? I mean, don't you get hurt that way? Uh, playing out the string? In the sense, three games left, you're not going to make the playoffs. I mean, do you get hurt that way if you just kind of like... Oh, this is the NFL. We're out here every week. to. It's our job to go out and play, um, to prepare. And, you know, I've been in these situations before, and I've never been in a situation where I felt like guys just give in. I mean, we all have something to play for. Uh, we're all in this together. You know, we only have 17 of these opportunities a year. We have three left, and we'll treat them just like any other week. You have to go out and prepare, and uh, you know, go out and play at a high level. We'll take three more. Did you get? I'm sorry. Did you get a chance to watch last night's game? I watched some of it. Yes. And is is it at all? I know you see film on teams, but just kind of watching the flow of a game is it any ad, any advantage? Um, honestly, as a quarterback, watching. <laughs> On TV is a lot harder because you can't see exactly what covers are playing unless they show a certain replay. It's hard to tell all the times. So, um, you know, we have I had a little idea just watching it what they do just because haven't played them. But the true details and intricacies of the defense is kind of hard to watch on TV. Mike, I have a question. When you signed here, uh, did the Giants say anything to you? Judge did anybody in the front office say anything about your size being one of the big reasons they wanted you? Like your height, your Anything about that? Uh, no. Okay. Last one. You've um, played in Philly, you know. So whether you play or Jake plays, the, yeah. the challenges of a uh, of a quarterback playing in that environment, um, I'm sure that it's a lot on the road, and it's a pretty hostile situation usually, isn't it? 
in Philadelphia? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, definitely it will be a great environment. They have passionate fans, um, as are a lot of you know away games in the NFL. It's going to be loud. We have to prepare for it, but uh, you know it, it's fun playing in those kind of atmospheres. They tend to have a little some language. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that, and uh, yeah.